So how do you manage kitchen production if you're not a chef? Chances are if you picked up a chef's knife, you'd cut yourself and that's not a good move. In this video, let's look at how you can have more control over how the kitchen works. And in other videos in this series, we've looked at costing, ordering, delivery and storage, menu improvements and staff. Hi, I'm Ken Bergen from Foodie Coaches and I'm not actually a chef, but that didn't stop me managing my kitchen with real teamwork, good systems and great results when I was a cafe and restaurant owner. If you've got feedback or questions about this topic, please drop them in the comments below. And we'd really like to hear your questions or comments about any other topics you'd like us to cover as well. So first, you need to build a strong menu that's right for your venue. That means the menu is easy to produce on busy days and designed for the equipment, space and staff skills you have. And of course, what's popular with your customers. So many menus are just too big. Learn a new term, mise en place. It's a French term meaning things in place. It's all about being set up and ready with all the things that go into making a recipe from ingredients and other sub recipes. So when you're ready to go, the magic can happen. Everything's ready. Your menu also needs to be flexible so you can turn things on and off according to ingredient price changes, seasonal factors or staff shortages. And that's what's so good about having digital menus, instant changes. Second, get the right equipment. So how do you know what you need? Start by asking on industry Facebook forums. They're really a terrific source of information and there'll be other operators just like you who probably use the equipment or wish they'd bought a different brand. Lots of opinions there. Develop trusted relationships with suppliers and put your business their way rather than just always hunting for the best deal online. It's amazing what they know and a lot of them either still do or have run food businesses themselves. Research online, good quality questions get good quality answers, old saying and absolutely true, and visit trade shows and industry events, usually once a year in different cities worth travelling to because everyone's there and you'll be able to do a lot of comparative shopping and poke and prod and see all that shiny equipment. Next thing that's really important is to organise the workflow and reduce bottlenecks. And even though you're not a chef, just from watching, you can soon tell if staff are working efficiently or if equipment needs to be arranged. You may need larger pieces of equipment, e.g. a six burner stove instead of a four burner, a second fryer or a three group coffee machine instead of two. Can short staff reach high equipment? And is there enough lighting? Are benches available to put hot and heavy pots on right where they're needed? Are people having to carry deliveries long distances from the storeroom? Of course, you're working with the space you've got, but could it be made easier and more efficient? Sometimes it's actually quite simple. Also aim for foolproof press button equipment designed with pictures and simple numbers to take the skill out of cooking as much as possible. For example, the recipe could be as simple as place one filled crust on a tray, place in the turbo oven, then press button number three and number three cooks it for 80 seconds, then the bell rings. Who needs skill for that? Cooking like this should be easy as an iPhone. Aim for that and you can see how this is gonna make your staffing much easier. I really recommend you look at the possibilities of a kitchen display system for the food orders. It's a large screen for chefs and cooks to work off instead of printed dockets. Mainly used in cafes and takeaways and you often see them being used by baristas. This is absolutely the future. Not only do they change the dynamic in the kitchen, they also give you valuable information on order times, production, bottlenecks, all the stuff you need to know and that you can probably change and improve. Another important piece of equipment to give you more control, electronic costing scales. They're an important investment and they're like the ones used in a deli to weigh food and give you a cost. They're also inexpensive, a few hundred dollars, and the owner can put on a burger to see if it's been portioned to the exact 200 grams, or the prawns, scallops and fish for a spaghetti marinara and see if the cost is what it's meant to be, usually more than you expect. Finally, keep your equipment modern, maintained and sparkling clean. Commercial grade stoves, fryers and microwaves are needed to get food out quickly, Oftentimes the cheap domestic staff fails pretty quickly. Good chefs want to work in a good kitchen. And when they come for an interview, they're interviewing you and the kitchen. 
nothing frustrates staff more than having two stove burners out of action or a fryer that doesn't come up to heat quickly. So make sure everything is fixed and working 100% of the time. Make sure the kitchen's easy to clean with the right chemicals and water pressure available. Kitchen staff often work 40 to 50 hours every week. So make it as pleasant as possible. And if it's easy to clean, you're going to save hours of labour as well. If you've got feedback or questions about this topic or suggestions for some more, please drop them in the comments below. Great talking to you.